Yes, um, my name is Blessed Mhlangam. I'm with the Heart and Soul TV. Um, Minister, uh, fuel is selling right now at $5.32, but the interbank rate where, where the f uh, fuel players are getting their money is now around $8 um, against the Zim dollar. So is there a subsidy on, on fuel or fuel has just gotten cheaper? Because if you look at the map, you probably it's probably selling at 60 cents. And if there's a subsidy, uh, can government afford uh, the subsidy um, in, in, in the long term? Because it appears that um, the Arab is yet said now all the guys in the petroleum sector should get their money from the interbank rate. And now that it has gone up, is the fuel of price, um, the price of fuel likely uh, to, 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 also, to also increase? Thanks, Blessed Minister. A very good question. It's very linked to what uh, Douglas asked earlier. Yes, indeed, the price of fuel is likely to go up. Uh, uh, I think really what would be ideal is, is a price that close to an equivalent of one US dollar uh, uh, per liter. liter. Yeah. Now, that's how it's ideal. It's, it's global. If you look around the region, that, that's the average. That's, mm. that's, that's the ballpark. So we'll also get there, but you don't want to get there in a big bang. It has to be gra gradual uh, rather than in a big bang. As long as we hold the, we're able to hold the exchange rate, uh, as I said, in terms of managing our affairs as government, we are doing that. We're doing everything we can. Yeah, but of course, there's sentiment out there to, to move the currency whichever way, frankly. But, but you will see the, the fuel price adjust uh, uh, to, to equilibrate towards that one dollar, but, 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 but gradually, absolutely. There is an implicit subsidy uh, to the economy. Uh, I'm also aware that the arbitrage opportunities that were there before have come back. Mm -hmm. uh, I wonder now whether, you know, people are getting starting to sell fuel in Zambia. Mm -hmm. You will come drive a truck here, fill up in Zimbabwe. So we, we might need to deal with that quickly. Yeah, yeah. with a bit mm -hmm. of corruption in the borders. Uh, the fuel ends up in Zambia, Mozambique, or elsewhere. It happens. People will take advantage of these arbitrage opportunities. Uh, but we want to tighten the management of fuel. We are going to launch uh, an electronic dipstick, uh, basically some um, um, uh, technology which allows to monitor the fuel use, usage, fuel station by fuel station. Uh, it's called Matimba uh, technology. Mm -hmm.